Imagine enjoying a hamburger at a summertime cookout just to fall deathly ill hours later. And suddenly you're violently allergic to all meats forever. Then you find out a tick bite caused it all. A newly discovered allergy carried by a tick bite is perplexing and educating area doctors. All new at 6, Rhonda Lee looks into the new disease and has this report. It's a newly discovered disease. Back in February of 2009. And it's rare. So rare, many of the local doctors I called had never heard of it. Not even this outdoorsman who's been bitten by a tick. It's worrisome if it's true. But it exists and could be deadly. Patients were becoming severely allergic to red meats like beef, venison, lamb, and also to pork, but not chicken or turkey. And this allergy is permanent. And they're going into an allergic shock. Patients' throats would swell. They'd break out in hives from head to toe. They'd have trouble breathing. The disease? Alpha-gal. It's transferred by a tick bite, which causes a delayed allergic reaction to the sugars in mammal flesh to humans. Patients uh, as adults are sensitized by seed ticks and sugars, have large local reactions to those, and then develop an allergy. Sometimes it gets misdiagnosed as a food poisoning incident, especially during the busy outdoor cooking season. There aren't any known cases in Texas as of yet, but if you're planning on going to the southeast, just be aware that you could be getting into a territory where your immune system has a beef with beef. Alpha-gal is concentrated in the eastern U.S. and the south. Why is still a mystery. But Texans aren't in the clear. In fact, most of Texas is in the zone where the main carriers, the Lone Star Tick, can be found. Dr. Cook says alpha-gal isn't curable, but it is treatable. Enduring reactions is treated like a bee sting. Sufferers can carry EpiPens. Also, read labels carefully and ask questions about food prep when eating out. Finding the root of the allergy is still a ways off, but now doctors know to look back at old cases to see if perhaps something new can be found. In South Austin, Rhonda Lee, KXAN Austin News.